so in this video we will see how we can use react pdf to capture the value from the pdf file so for that and for most things so we can just create a new react application i'm calling it as uh, react pdf after creating a react project we will just uh, try to get the libraries which are uh, useful for that so i am using react pdf set so after installing the react pdf you can just uh, go to the app.js and uh, try importing the necessary function which are useful for that so i am importing react pdf in that we would be needing pdf dot pdfjs document and page so we will just use document as a wrapper so i have created it here with the class name as app and uh, also in inside that i am creating i uh, am giving document so in the static file we have a pdf file uh, which we will be using to showcase the pdf uh, extraction so uh, inside the document we will be having pages there might be multiple pages so we will see how we can uh, render the pages inside the pdf file so we will do a npm start to start the local server so when the server got started in 3000 but we are having an error so for for that like uh, before that we have to add a uh, on load success function which will trigger once uh, everything is loaded and the number of pages will will be getting there so we will be setting it to to a state and that state we will try to iterate number of times and uh, try to render the pages so this is how we can render the pages so we haven't uh, imported the use state hook so we will import that and uh, the file we were using the relative path so we can just import it and use it so now that we are getting the PDF file in the local server. There are few things which are missing. We can add that. So the next thing would be how we can capture the values from the PDF, which is getting rendered. So for that, uh. first and foremost thing like we will uh, use on load success in which we need to we will be keeping set loading uh, state just in case for future requirement so we will be making it as true when whenever the last page gets rendered so num pages will be having all of the numbers of the number of pages so minus 1 has to be required as the pages get started with the number 1 the array will be starting with 0 the i will be starting with 0 so we need to do minus 1 and in the options we will just include the we will just uh, add the fonts which uh, which is required so now that we have added the fonts and everything so we can just uh, try showing whatever we are getting we are selecting in the pdf so we are able to basically select in the pdf now we will see how we can capture the value and show that in the probably in an input box for that we need to restructure the code a bit we'll use the bootstrap grid system for that and i'm using a uh, 84 that is 3 to 1 ratio the entire screen so 8 like the total bootstrap grid will be equal so i am using 8 and 4 of 
after that uh, I will be uh, installing the bootstrap library and also we need to create the input field to show the capture data which we are capturing from the PDF so I have created I have added some code for the input field so on change method so we need to set the value to a state so that state will be given as a value to the input field so now we are getting the value but whenever we try to edit after getting the value it is giving us object object so for that let's create a function uh, inline function which is not recommended but for our use currently like we can create a new function as well but for now i'm keeping it as it is so i'm creating getting the value when i'm clicking it like it is giving me object object so after debugging for some time i got to know that val is val dot uh, target dot value so i'm trying i'm removing all the debuggers and trying to enter some text after selecting any of the text so it is getting removed and uh, like the text which got selected got added in the input field so i think we are able to tag the document using this. Thanks for watching.